The Dredgers went down to Georgia, had a pro line six and tow. This place is new. Yes, that's true. And we're looking to find some gold. Well, Nick has a new pup pup, a mini Aussie named Artie. Matt and his best bud, Jax. And we're looking to party. Bom, bom, bom. Well, we didn't have a clue if we would even find gold. But we packed up food, motors, and brews. And Nick said, let's go. We both drove a couple of hours to find a meeting point en route. And met up in the shady parking lot so we could let the dogs out. Matt said, we need to quit screwing around and hit the road again. So he drank caffeine, a burger with cheese, and Matt followed his friend. The prospecting geologist with a bearded marine in tow are going to try out Georgia and hopefully find some gold. We'll meet some friends along the way and brag about our finds. But if we lose, Matt's wife will kick us behind. Yards. Okay, I'll live here if I have to. I could live here. A little wobbly, huh? Go, be careful. <clears throat> You probably shouldn't follow me, but you're going to. Stop. Back. You swam in this? Yes, it oh. was not like this. Wait. It was almost like a lake up here before, wasn't it? Yeah, this is all washed in recently. Yeah. I know, right? Matt, I want a waterfall. I got a rock hammer in the Jeep too if you want it. Lick it. Is it a rock? course everywhere. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Jack. Be careful, Artie. You see your back there. Yay! My back. Got a beautiful creek right there, so Matt's digging in the side of a mountain. Yeah. Look at that Georgia view. The Georgia view, and then we got the hobo. Nick, why isn't your wetsuit on yet? So cold right now. It's like 32 degrees last I, night. I like how it's cold and we're standing in all the shade. I know, right? And <laughs> the sun right over there. Nick, the sun is literally right there. Nick's cooking bacon. Mark, shout out to you. We wish you were here. Wish you were here. To wish you were beer. Cook your amazing breakfast. This is Artie's introduction. This too. is Artie's introduction to this camping stuff. Jax is old hat at it. She's literally the definition of camera shy, too. <laughs> Artie, tell me something. Talk to the camera. Tell me something. She, <laughs> she hates being picked or aim pictures, film, nothing. Does it steal your soul, Artie? Yep. She might be Amish. <laughs> you little uh, Amish dog. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, <coughs> it was cold last night. Uh, I was slightly worried for Jax because he would not let me cover him with a blanket. I know there's frost on everything. Jax wouldn't let me cover him with a blanket in the tent. But we, yeah, we got to the property yesterday, dropped the dredge near where we're going to put in at, and then uh, got a kind of a tour of the property. 
had some late night shenanigans with the property owner's brother in law. <laughs> yeah, that's a shame. That was a nice cheat. So here's going to be where we're putting the dredge in at. We've got it right there on the trailer right now. We're going to use this ramp that the property owner had put in. The visibility in the water is looking pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, we'll get Nick's boat in as well, and then we're going to try and go, I think about, try and get at least a thousand feet up. But I know there's a bunch, it looks like there's a bunch of down sticks and trees and stuff, and I'm not sure if that's going to completely stop us from going all the way as far as we want to go, or, or what. So we'll see with that, but we're going to get the dredge set up here and going, and uh, we're going to get in the water today, and hopefully we're going to see some good Georgia gold. Yeah, we got to build the whole six inch dredge out. When I say six inch, I need to also state that it the nozzle's reduced to five for legality issues and stuff. So it is a five inch at the nozzle. So there she is sitting on the trailer right now. I got to take her apart and build her out. Gorgeous, gorgeous property, gorgeous area. Can't be more excited and happy. So we're going to back the trailer to like here, put the dredge here, assemble it, and then just slide the dredge into the water. Because backing the trailer into the water would possibly, I don't know how it would end. Uh, that's good. So we'll put the dredge here, assemble it, and then we'll just slip it down in the water. Because if we were to back the trailer into the water, we'd be putting the put, trying to push the dredge out all the way almost in the middle. We have some unknown depths and other stuff, so we're just going to assemble it here and then it should slide right down the silt pretty damn easy. So we're scouting the river right now, figuring out where we're going to set the dredge up first. We wanted to get up this far, but uh, you got paddles? Yeah. But um, I don't know, there's a bunch of fallen trees and stuff, and actually up this far it feels like scoured bedrock on the bottom. So I think we're going to set up right below the big kind of tangle of trees. Already don't do it. Um and start dredging samples there and then work our way down. There's a potential from the maps that a vein trend kind of crosses kind of right up where we are here, but even back where the trees are, we should be pretty close to it. It kind of runs par it crosses the tip of the river here and then runs kind of parallel to it. So we are going to float down and get the dredge in the river. And I think, I think we're just going to try and walk it up. It's probably going to be the easiest thing because it's only about three, two to three and a half feet deep uh, most of the way. So it should be easily walkable. Um, so, yep, that's the plan. We're going to go get the dredge then and start moseying up river. My boots are soaked because dumb dumb dog decided she was going to try and swim across the river and get swept away and they had to go rescue her and of course all the cameras were on the boat <laughs> um i mean we can reenact it already you want to reenact that I, I think she's trying she's trying to she's shivering right now too she's always shivering she's always shivering <laughs> oh you're shivering out in the middle of nowhere out in the bush. bush the bush of georgia the alaskan bush yep on the mississippi river Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee. Jax is a good boat dog. Yeah. Artie, yeah. take a take a take a page from Jax's book. We're running the Georgia Rapids. Woo! Or do it however you want. Never knew how much his muddy waters meant to me. Coming shallower. Artie, lay down. Artie, lay down. Sit, 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 sit. Lay down. No, don't do it. Lay down. You're fine. Lay down. You're okay. Ugh. Smell like wet dog. Yeah, you smell like wet dog. Yeah. Poor dog. Or what? What do you need? Probably an anchor. Yeah. Stay. 
don't know if this one's gonna do all that much. Stay! Don't do it! No, no, shit. Stop jumping in the water. You <sighs> losing our hose to the side right now. Our hose? It's, I mean, it's attached to the dredge, it's just trying to swing the dredge around. Gotcha. Artie, right, you're making life difficult right now. Don't. Oh. <laughs> Chat. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the best thing to tie off to, Matt. A rose bush. First dredge trip of the year. Woo! What are you doing? 
repaired. Would you break this time? You broke it. Yeah, technically. <laughs> Play a game. What's missing? <laughs> what? What's missing? The hunchback of Georgia River over here. Oh. <laughs> See, this has a broken pull cord. The, the other one, the exhaust is trying to vibrate off. I got one of the nuts tightened down. We're really killing it today. Matt's on another bush fix over here. That was a bad idea. Yep. Something yeah, black. That was a plastic thing. Too. Okay. Jesus. Started. <laughs> that knotted shit real fast. Yeah, it did. Okay, so that's a good thing to know, though. You can't tie that. I thought you said it was going to work. I thought you had done it before. <laughs> I haven't tied to that before. It worked. Oh, so, okay. So if you didn't tie a knot. It wouldn't have spun like yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, okay. And wrecked that fucker. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> Cut down. Nailed it. All right, now cut a sectional line because you don't want do, all yeah. of that to get tangled up next time. Jesus, 600 feet, too? There you go. And lost prime. Better hurry up. <laughs> and shut it down. <laughs> We're off to a great start today. A handy dandy little dredge pump. Is it electric? Huh? Like it uses power? Yeah, it has a little 9 volt battery in it. Okay. Yeah, it's like ten dollars at Harbor Freight. <laughs> Why we weren't using one before, I don't know. Because you're cheap. Especially for a dredge like this, where like that, this, this, the the foot valve going in through the center there is freaking. I can't reach it. I can't grab it. I can't jerk it to get it full of water. It works fucking better than trying to mess with. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. <laughs> It also gives you a really long, good pull. Right. Don't touch that. It will break you. Yes. Cut a finger off, probably.
say three, three and a half. So we've uh, pulled back some times and all up there is way too much sand. So pull back here. Uh, have an issue with the heat. How's the material down there? Uh, it's material. <laughs> Materially. Jesus. Uh, it was like a foot to bedrock, barely, in this one. So we tried to punch two other holes. Ran into just three to four feet of just loose sand and gravel. So it wasn't it wasn't going to be worth it to try and punch through that. You'd have a massive hole. Um, drop back to this spot. And, yeah, about a foot and a half down hit bedrock um, so this will be our first real sample what was the water uh, this morning when we checked it was like 48, 48. <laughs> a little chilly lots of really fine stuff again uh, I mean once again though that's a tiny little handful and there's just powder all through that I'm just gonna stand over here and be useful like I've been all day <laughs> freezing well, you act like it's heavy because it's filled with rocks or something. Gold, actually. It's a gold. That would be, that would be pretty nice if it was all gold. Yeah. I see black sand. I see dead people. I see dead people. Where the nug, where the nug, where the nug at? Yeah, definitely fine, doll. I'll say that. Yeah, calm down, Matt. Hey. What the is this? Like, uh, I always forget to bring like the uh, paint scraper or something to scoop this out. The yeah, spatula, basically. Oh yeah. For all that we ran. Yeah, that's a good point. Considering that's only the top. It's only the top mat as well, and with how fine some of the gold is, there still could be a decent accumulation. What's going on with your freak claw? <clears throat> it's, not even, it's not even that, it's just my hands cramping up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had a hand cramp like that before. No, <laughs> no you weirdo. Really? Yeah. I'm not defective like you. I'm defective in other ways. Pretty much. <laughs> There's some nice little flakage in there and stuff. Um, I mean, we ran for like 45 minutes. Yeah. Of actual dredging. So. just top mat. It's just the top mat, yeah. Are you purposefully holding it out so it doesn't cramp up again? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I want to see it cramp up. I don't. It hurts. Don't bend your finger. Bend the knee. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. <clears throat> okay, I don't know how to really do this right now. I'm usually used to be on your side. First clean out of the air. 
124. You couldn't even remember what side of the dredge you wanted to be on. Pretty much. <laughs> Come on, hold the dredge in place. Cause it's... he's trying to run me over. I'm trying to do like 800. Already. Right. Already. Are you tired? <laughs> A little, bit of, a little bit of Georgia gold. Okay. That's one handful from a 45-minute run. So that's, I mean, is that about what you got it's out of the last similar, one? similar. It might have been a little more, but yeah, pretty close. This is what, your third pan? Second. Second. Okay. Nice little start. So there's the gold for... 45 minutes running on the six today first well third sample technically <clears throat> kind of kind of well because the first two we just abandoned what do you what's your guess nick i said what two grains yeah, i was gonna say three and a half does that even do half. half yeah should can you tear it i say is that an eight ready yeah ready for it see the number at all i don't think i can right yeah, now probably not Two point two. Three. Oh, oh, no. Two point three, three grains, damn. Okay. 